welcome back to my channel we're gonna go ahead and get into this glam makeup look I filled my brows with my morphe 350 M palette and now I am going to go ahead and carve out the bottom of my brows with my P Louise base number five mixed with LA girls fawn here I am just gonna go ahead and carve out the top of my brows also I'm just gonna go ahead and get my brows out the way taking my time right there on the tail part that part can be tricky so just take your time there ladies here I am going in with my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just going to blend out that concealer on the bottom and on the top and also in between the brows. Here I am going to begin packing on a brown eyeshadow from one of my Juvia's Place palettes. I'm just going to pack that on my lid, blend it out as I go, just kind of tapping and blending at the same time. I'm going to blend that all over the lid. Here I am taking a lighter brown just to blend out that brown that we just put down and just kind of make those harsh lines go away. This next step I am just going to start carving out my cut crease. Um, I have been carving it out this way the last few times and it's just been way easier for me. Now I'm just going to pack on this P. Louise number zero base which is the white base. I'm going to just buff that out and I'm just getting ready to put my cut crease colors down. The first color that I'm putting down for the cut crease is a white eyeshadow and it is from the Gem Rock palette and it's Playing in Makeup by Yolanda. This palette is the bomb y'all, like pigment is super super crazy. So I'm just going to pack that on until I feel I have it bright enough. Okay y'all, next two shades are actually highlights from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow palette. I'm going to go ahead with the darker gold on the bottom half of the eye. And then I'm going to go in with the champagne light gold on the top. Just going to pack that in and get as close as I can to the cut crease just to make it as crisp as possible. Okay, here y'all, I'm just going to take a brown and pack it onto the end of the cut crease and blend it out. Um, I'm taking a darker brown here and then I'm going to go in with another brown here just to kind of create a more dimensional transition. Um, just blending that out. Okay, up next is liner, and I'm going to take my Suva Beauty Grease. It is their black liner, and I'm just going to line my eye. I literally just line the entire line all the way to the end. Going to go ahead and try to wing it out here. I'm just, this is the easiest way that I can explain to you guys how to do a wing. I literally just take that line there, and on the end of that tail, I just bring it back and connect it to the line. Just like that. Literally just fill it in. Be as careful as you can, of course, stay in the lines. And this is the easiest way that I can do a wing on myself. Um, it's a little bit different, I guess, doing it on a client, of course, but this is the easiest way that I can do it. And then I just perfect it all the way. I'll go across my lid again if I need to until I get that line just as perfect as I want. Next, we're going to go ahead and get into the face. This is my foundation stick from Juvia's Place in the shade Cameroon. Um, I've been just putting it underneath my eyes, just around my mouth, just a little bit, blending that out before I do my concealer or actual foundation or anything like that. Um, and I just found that it has helped tremendously on the blending of my foundation and pictures and all of that. Next, going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer, and this is number 11. I'm going to put that under my eyes, middle of my forehead down the middle of my nose and on my chin. This is just where I place the concealer. I am showing you guys my new foundation routine which is Taylor May Jane's foundation routine and it's been working wonders for me and this is just how I do it. This is a super glam look so this is not your everyday look. A lot of y'all are gonna say this is too much makeup, I get it, but this is super, super glam. I'll do a regular video for y'all soon. Going in with my actual foundation shade, it's Juvia's Place Velvet Foundation in the shade Kenya number 200. I'm just going to place my foundation kind of like on my forehead also and just around the perimeters of my face. And this just helps with the concealer blending together with the foundation. Um, it basically just makes it so there's really no harsh lines when you're blending out everything. It all just blends so seamlessly together. 
Next, you guys, I'm just laying down my contour colors. The first shade that I'm just putting around my face is the shade number three. And it is Juvia's Place Concealer. Um, for my cheeks, I feel like my cheeks are a little chunkier. So I just add just a little darker just to my cheek areas. And so right here, I'm going to put down the shade number one just to add a little bit more to my contour. Okay, here you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose um, with concealer. I'm using the shade number three um, that I just put around my face. So I'm just going to do that here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add my foundation color, Kenya, into just some of the missing spots here. Just again, this just kind of helps with the whole blending out of the whole entire face. It just kind of makes it way, way easier for the colors to blend together. Okay, taking my Juvia's Place foundation brush, I'm just going to blend that foundation into my neck area. Just blend it all the way out completely on both sides before I do anything else. So I'm just blending out my chin area. I am going to touch my ear a couple times just to make sure everything is blended all as one. So just make sure you're blending that out. Blend it down to your neck. Um, especially women of color, I highly suggest you blending it down your chin and your neck area just because we deal with the darkness around our neck. Next, I am going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to start blending out that concealer under my eye. I'm just going to blend that out. Trying not to get onto the dark dark contour yet like I'm just really trying to just get that light concealer blended out first so just take your time on this it's really really difficult for me again this technique is new for me so I'm just getting it down myself so just blend under your eye blend under your nose and then of course on the other side just blend it out blend 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 is life blend is everything okay I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out the contour here on the cheekbones. I'm just gonna blend that out, blend it all the way into the concealer and the foundation. Okay, for my forehead, I always use my Juvia's Place foundation brush. For some reason, it just blends out my whole entire forehead just flawlessly, as y'all can see. Like, I just use that for that. I end up going around the whole entire face just to make sure everything is blended correctly, not looking crazy. And I just take my time. Go in with your beauty blender to fix any flaws. Um, just make sure everything is blended. The concealers with the foundation. Everything's blended seamlessly. This part is totally optional. I felt like I had lost a lot of my under eye highlight with the contour. So I just went ahead and just brightened it up just a little bit. And just a little bit of concealer there. Blending that all the way out. I am going to go ahead and take a tiny Real Techniques brush and blend out my nose contour. I'm just going to blend that up into my brow, just blend it down so it's just not harsh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and just blend out everything. Just make sure everything is blended seamlessly around the face. Um, make sure everything right there on the sides of my eyebrows is blended completely. So here I am going to take my Sasha Buttercup Translucent Powder on a sponge and just basically pat that under my eye. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Um, this is basically just setting that concealer that we have put down. I'm gonna go ahead and do my forehead also. So I'm just tap that a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit down the bridge of my nose and then also some on my chin. Also just to set all those areas and then also around my mouth where the crease lines are. I'm also gonna set there. This is also another optional step, is to put that powder down your cheek like that. Um, I do that just if I want to have a sharp jawline, I guess you can say. So that's totally optional if you want to do that. Okay, here I am going to go in with my contour powder, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tan to Deep Contour Palette. I'm just going to go around the perimeters of my face, my forehead, basically just basically setting all that contour where we had just put that darker contour we're just going to go ahead and put the powder right over that them same areas here i'm just going to go ahead and take my contour powder and just run it down the sides of my nose where we have placed that contour earlier here i am just going to go ahead and brush away any of that translucent powder i am using my mac dark deep mineralized foundation powder um, to brush away any of the powder 
Um, I also use this powder just to set my face also. So just brushing all that away and then I am just going to set around my face with my powder. Next for blush, I am gonna go in with my Saharan Blush Value One palette from Juvia's Place. I am starting with the color Toby, which is the orange blush. And then I end up adding Neo, which is the shade right above that to my blush also. And then just depending on how I'm feeling, I will add a little bit of Abby, which is the darker um, blush in the palette. So that is what I'm doing here. Next, I am gonna go in with my highlight, which is the Honor Row highlight from Crayon Case. Y'all, I use this highlighter for everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to my cheeks here and blend it out. I like for my highlight to show when I smile with the camera looking face on, so that's why I just kind of bring it in on the top of my cheeks a little bit more, because um, I'm not taking all my pictures from the side for you just to see the highlight from the side, if that makes sense. I am gonna add just a little bit of highlight to the middle of my forehead. Um, I add a little bit to the bridge of my nose. Um, chin area and then I do the top of my lip area and then yep that is all I do for highlight here I'm gonna take just a little bit of the highlight and put it on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it up just a little bit I do that with like 90% of my makeup looks next step I am going to go ahead and add some color to my bottom waterline um, so I'm just packing that on there. Here I'm just taking a spoolie and just brushing through my brows. This just makes them look not as harsh and I kind of fade that beginning part of the brow even more because I like mine super, super faded out. So that's what I'm going to do. Just brush through my brows here. Here I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and just pat it all the way around my face. Take my foundation brush and powder and just one time brush all the way around my face just to set everything. I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. I'm sorry y'all didn't like show y'all exactly what I do. But I use Duo Lash Glue, the green kind. And I literally just brush it on like a liner. And then I literally just stick the lash on. I don't even put glue on the lash anymore. I literally just stick it on to where I put the liner of glue. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with a brown lip pencil from Crayon Case. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put my red lipstick on. I am using a red from Crayon Case, which I think is crawfish. And I'm also using my Rihanna red lipstick mixed together. So that is what I'm doing here, just mixing that. I'm gonna, I just continue going back and forth from the red lipstick to the pencil until I got it. Um, my desired lip look so that's all I do just go back and forth until and blending them both just going back and forth blending the lines um, adding more red as I need to till I get my perfect red lip y'all this is it for this look I ended up setting my lips with some of that translucent powder um, and it just basically keeps your lip on longer all day long um, that's it I set my face with some setting spray thanks for tuning in